In a sharp reversal from his predecessor, President Barack Obama is clearing the way for federal funding of embryonic stem cell research. I believe we have been given the capacity and will to pursue this research and the humanity and conscience to do so responsibly. Obama signed an executive order Monday, lifting restrictions on research that proponents believe could lead to cures for ailments from diabetes to paralysis. So it tr truly represents a major move forward and will really facilitate clinical trials and let us, lead us into a, being able to treat patients better and more effectively. Stem cell research became a divisive issue under George W. Bush. The former president limited funding for research on the grounds that using embryos was morally wrong and should not be funded by the government. The White House says Monday's announcement is about more than stem cells. They say it signals the administration's commitment to letting science, not political ideology, guide policies on everything from renewable energy to climate change. Promoting science isn't just about providing resources, it's also about protecting free and open inquiry. It's about letting scientists, like those who are here today, do their jobs, free from manipulation or coercion, and listening to what they tell us, even when it's inconvenient, especially when it's inconvenient. Critics say it's not science they oppose, just science that destroys human life. It's really, really a stark choice as to whether or not you're going to allow these embryos to develop into babies or to use them for experimentation that destroys them. Obama says he understands the emotions on both sides of the debate, but believes a majority of Americans support increasing funding for research. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.